everyone welcome to my podcast for the love and knitting i'm serena um, if you're a returning viewer welcome back if you're just joining us welcome um, hope you enjoy basically it's just a kind of for fun podcast where i talk about things that i'm knitting um, working on things i've finished places i buy stuff from and yeah just for fun so you know enjoy um, feel free to comment if you have any questions anything like that so yeah um so I kind of debated doing this podcast this week because uh, I'm not it'll probably be a short podcast but that's okay um, some of the yarn I wanted to show for this podcast has not come to me in the mail yet oh well and I can't show a whole lot that I'm working on because it's all Christmas knits right now <laughs> But that's okay. We'll do a shorter podcast and uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, yeah, and hopefully my lighting is okay. I just recently um, turned one of our spare bedrooms into kind of my knitting slash yarn room. Um, and I thought, hey, I can do my podcast down there, not on the couch anymore. <laughs> but yeah, the lighting's not the greatest. So we're going to try it out, see how it goes. Um, hopefully you can see the colors of the yarn and stuff okay. Yeah, so, I don't know how your guys' weather has been, but um, I'm in Sylvan Lake, Alberta, Canada, and our weather doesn't really know what it wants to be. It was a really nice fall, and then we got dumped with a lot of snow, like a lot. And I totally was like, okay, winter's here, it's not going away. Well, it's completely melted, gone, and we're in like plus 10 weather that's degrees Celsius. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, <laughs> so I was so like, I got to get hats knit for winter and winters kind of disappear. We've gone back into fall. I won't complain. <laughs> uh, we get a lot of snow here sometimes. I don't particularly love it. We also get some pretty cold weather that I also don't love. So yeah, but that's okay. It can do whatever it wants, I guess. And I will just go with the flow. <laughs> so Let's start off with, um, like I said, I can't really show anything that I'm working on right now, but I can talk about a couple things that I got done from my last podcast. And I guess I will start with what I'm wearing. So I had talked about wanting to do um, a hat for me and a hat for my husband. Um, but last week I was waiting on new needles, so I'll talk about those later. Um, yeah, so I had this yarn already. And so once I got my needles in, I just went to town on it and I literally got it done in like two days. Um, so the pattern is Blurry Flurry from Cozy Up Knits. It was a super easy, fun, different pattern. You can kind of see it's got a bit of a different, um, yeah, pattern texture in there. It's really cool. Um, I had knit it, so in their pattern, you can either knit it as a beanie or with the folded brim. Well, I knit mine as the beanie, um, but it was too slouchy, I found. I'm not a huge fan of slouchy hats, um, so I definitely, I guess, I'm more of a beanie style hat person. Um, so after I blocked it, it kind of stretched out a bit more than I wanted, so I just folded up the brim, and it actually looks really good. So it's not like as thick of a folded brim as you would have got if you knit it that way, um, but that's okay. Love it. Fits good. Looks good. Love the pom-pom. Yeah, I kind of, I didn't really think I was a pom-pom hat person, but I totally am. I love the pom-poms on hats. So, so the yarn that I used um, is from Allison Barnes Yarn, and this is on her classic worsted, um, so it's 100% superwash merino, and the colorway is called Prairie Rain. So it's kind of like a silvery, gray blue with specks of purple and teal in it. It's super, super nice. I love it. So, yeah, and then the pom-pom is from... Um, she's called Rose and Pearl and she sells different things, but, uh, she makes these pom-poms. I know my lighting's not very good, but, um, yeah, so I, <laughs> okay, so I bought a few pom-poms from her when I was buying pom-poms and originally the pom-pom I was hoping would go with this hat 
was this wonderful one. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, and you can see here, I'll show. So rose and pearl. But it didn't quite, I know, this lighting's terrible. But um, it didn't quite go with the hat like I wanted it to. And I liked the white one better with it. So that's okay. I'm going to save this one for another hat. Because I'm sure I will just keep knitting more and more. And then I also bought just a black one with white tips. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love these pom-poms. And then this one's probably my favorite. I'm going to have to find like the right yarn to go with it but I had to have it because I love it <laughs> so I think this one's called like her mint chocolate chip and yeah I just I love the color of it so so I definitely have to do a lot more um, hat knitting so I can put these pom-poms on them but yeah super nice pom-poms um, I love them I just think they're so fun on the top of your hat. So, yeah. Um, okay, so the other thing that I got finished, I just lost some lighting there. The other thing I got finished um, from last podcast was my husband's socks. So if you've seen my other podcasts, I kind of talked about them um, and laugh at myself about it because I started knitting socks in May um, of this year. And I never thought I'd be able to knit socks. So my husband had always wanted me to knit socks for him. But I kind of, I call it self-care knitting. So I did some self-care knitting and knitted all these socks for myself and none for him. Um, but I finally got a pair on the needles and I just finished them yesterday. So this is them. And this yarn, again, was from Sea Turtle Fiber Arts. And uh, the colorway was called Blue's Clues, and it's just their fingering sock. Um, yeah, just vanilla pattern with the German short row heel. So, yeah. And really good. I have to tweak it a little bit, I think, for my husband's socks. So for me, I just do 64 stitches round, and they fit pretty good. But um, So for him, I did 72 stitches, but he has a wide foot and a bit of a skinnier leg. So I might have to actually start, because I love doing top-down socks. Um, so I might have to start with smaller stitches up top and then increase right for the heel. But we'll see. Um, again, like I said, I'm finding with knitting that you just kind of have to try things and see how it goes and yeah, see what works best. So. My socks were easier. His socks are going to be a bit more of a pain. When will I ever do another pair for him? I don't know. <laughs> because honestly, I'm getting a little tired of sock knitting. Uh, I've been doing it quite a bit. So I think once I'm done, some other ones that I'm doing, um, sock knitting might get put on the back burner. But that's okay. It's taught me lots, so I'm super grateful for sock knitting, and I still love it, but when you've been doing a lot of socks, it definitely gets a little tiring. So that's why I super enjoyed, because um, I did another hat too. So the hats have been good, because they're like super quick knits in between um, that I can like work on. And then usually it's like at night when we're watching TV that I'll work on the socks, because it's just a little easier to do and not have to... Um, think too much about it so yeah so that's what I have finished from the last podcast um yeah and like I said I can't show anything I'm working on but that's okay <laughs> but I really wanted to do this podcast still today even though it might be a bit shorter because I had some yarn I wanted to show because Halloween is tomorrow and I love Halloween and I'm a little sad I did not do any of the Halloween advent calendars this year um, just because it was just a little overwhelming and I'm kind of down this knitting hole of buying um, new yarn right now and so 
yeah, I was just like, well, no, I won't do the yarn advents this year, but um, now that I've been watching everybody opening up their amazing Halloween yarn advents, next year it will totally be a thing because it looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> but that's okay. So instead um, of doing the yarn advent, I just so happened to come across this package of minis that I had to buy. <sighs> And so they're kind of Halloween-y, and that's why I wanted to show them before Halloween. This is from Rose Hill Yarns. They do absolutely amazing colors. Um, and this colorway <laughs> was called their Pumpkin King Fade, Mini Fade. So it's um, to do with uh, Nightmare for Christmas, Jack Skellington one of my favorite movies of all time. However, I kind of have this weird thing. There's this big like, you know, controversy of is it a Halloween movie? Is it a Christmas movie? Everybody seems to have their own opinion. I don't know. I find it's more of a... I love that it represents Halloween. And so at Halloween, I love decorating with characters from it and stuff however watching it I feel like it's more of a Christmas movie so I actually watch it at Christmas time and not Halloween but that's just me <laughs> but like I said I still love like the characters and everything for Halloween time so when Rose Hill Yarns brought this out I just instantly fell in love so it was based on like a picture of Jack Skellington and that's why um, it's got like these purples in it so I just thought it was really cool because usually when you think of Jack Skellington, it's black and white and grays. But um, I just loved how it's like these really dark, rich purples. And then it fades up to this like lighter kind of gray with purple speckles. Oh, I'm just, I'm so excited. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. I would love to do something. I don't know. I don't know. So hey let me know if you guys have any suggestions on what to do with a mini fade set please let me know um yeah i don't know a cowl or i don't know how big of a shawl you'd get out of it but yeah so i'll keep looking um but yeah so this was kind of my halloween treat to myself was this yarn from rose hill yarns um so again that is another um canada dyer and since I was talking about them, I thought I'd show a couple other, um, their sock sets from them that I've got because I just, their yarn is amazing. Their colors, I can't even get over. It's just, a lot of them are just so earthy and I love earthy tones. That's kind of my favorite when it comes to colors is more the earthy tones. But yeah, so this one. And it's called Toasted Lavender Marshmallow. So I love marshmallows and roasted marshmallows. <laughs> so when I seen this, I just kind of had to have it because why not? Um, but yeah, so this is their fingering weight. It's a 75% super wash merino and 25% nylon. And it is a set. So you get... Your full skein and then a mini skein to do your heels and toes with so which when i started sock knitting i never did contrast colors in them um and then my first pair that i did i loved it and i love the look now of contrast heel and toe with socks so now it's kind of my thing and i love it but yeah so super like the colors are just i really wish my lighting was better in here but purple and whites there's a little bit of pinks and reds and oranges even like it's just yeah super nice so that was one of them I got um, and then the other one is this one and it's called deeply rooted so of course like earthy tones to the max in this one so again that's their Rose Hill Yarns. Maybe if I shut that off, it would be better. Maybe. Um, 
yeah so and this one's just got purples again in it cream color gold greens like yeah beautiful beautiful so yeah these are their sock sets it's just yeah i love it so i have a lot of sock and yarn <laughs> that i really need to use but again my brain like i said before likes to just oh we need to do all this stuff now and i have to tell it to slow down <laughs> because my fingers can't knit that fast but yeah so yeah i just wanted to kind of show off um another place that i've bought from um yeah check them out their yarn is amazing um they do amazing colors and yeah really cool so the i guess last thing yeah i really didn't have a whole lot to show <laughs> but the last thing i'll talk about um is the knitting needles that i bought uh, so i kind of talked about these in my last podcast um because i was getting frustrated about not having needles when i needed them um so i just caved and bought a whole set and i kind of was looking through it was a bit difficult there's a lot of needle sets out there um it made it a bit easier because i know i like wood needles um over metal ones i think i'm a bit of a looser knitter and so my knitting slides off the needles way easier than the metal ones and i've lost a lot of stitches that way so <laughs> Uh, no more of that. Um, but yeah, so I was kind of looking at the different ones that are wood. Um, originally I was using Knitter's Pride, I think. Yeah. Um, because that's just what our local yarn shop was carrying. So I was doing those ones and I like them. The cords I found were a bit stiffer. Um, so if you wanted to do magic loop or anything, I think it would have been more difficult. I don't do a whole lot of magic loop, but yeah. So I found this brand, Likey, L-Y-K-K-E, and thought I'd give it a try. Um, I think they're a bit newer, but uh, yeah. So I did use them for this hat and I didn't mind them. Um, they're definitely not stiff, but I almost found that the cord kind of, I don't know. <sighs> Honestly, I love the Chia Goo cords a lot, but they're metal and I just, I can't. I can't sacrifice <laughs> my knitting and losing stitches. <laughs> but I feel like you can get wood needles for Chia Goo, but I just haven't come across them yet. Um, but you can kind of tell, so when I did my hat at the, um, the decreases, I don't do double pointed needles. No, that's too many needles for my brain. So I switched to magic loop and it worked, but it like warped my cord. So the cords don't totally hold their shape super well, but that's okay. They're bendy and that's the main thing, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll just keep using them and, and see how it goes. But um, yeah, one of the sets are missing because I've got her on a cord right now. But that is the color. I think it was called Driftwood, this one. They have a couple different colors, but so they're all just kind of this really nice gray. Um, I do really like the needle ends. Um, they're super nice. I'm getting this weird, like, thing of um, light. It's bugging me. <laughs> Anyways, um, scroll moment. Uh, yeah, so this, yeah, they're just really nice gray color. Um, they feel good in the hands using the yarn. Like, they're not too sticky, but my yarn doesn't slide right off them. So, yeah, I mean, I do like the case that they come in, but we'll see. Again. I just find it's all trying out, see what you like, what you don't like. Um, I'm definitely happy to have a whole set. Uh, I wouldn't say the cord is enough for me to hate them. Yeah, I'm going to use them, try them out, see. Um, I think with these ones, though, you can actually use the Knitter's Pride cords with them. So I haven't tried. I should have. Eh, later. 
So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, let me know what ones you guys like. What uh, needles you use, why you like them, why you don't. Yeah, get a conversation going. But other than that, that is all I have for you guys today. I really wish the yarn I wanted to show had come in the mail, but that's okay. I guess it just gives me stuff for my next podcast because I probably won't. <sighs> yeah, my last three have been a week in between, but I probably won't be able to do that now because just like I said, the stuff I'm working on right now, I can't show. And um, until I get those done and start working on new things, I won't have a whole lot. I might have my husband's hat to show at one point, but we'll see. I'll just go with it, see how I'm feeling. Um, I do apologize about the lighting today. I really don't know what I'm going to do. I'll have to figure something out. Maybe I just need some floor lamps or something and try that out. But And not the main light that gives me this weird <laughs> ray of light. Um, but yeah, anyways, so that's it for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I will put in the notes underneath um, the pattern and the yarns I talked about. Stuff like that. And yeah, I will see you guys on the next episode. Okay, bye.